Hey everybody, Lombok's Love Affair here. I have a moment before I go to the gym, so I wanted to do an unboxing for you. I have three boxes that came, two of these, if you recognize them, are CGC boxes. Uh, and they all have different origins. Uh, and then this one is a purchase from an Instagrammer, Red Hood Comics. So uh, I uh, have some spec books in here and some amazing Spider-Man books that, um, I had slabbed or that are brand new to my collection. So uh, so it's not a huge haul, but it's a cool haul. So uh, before I do that, I had opened this one already. Uh, this came a couple weeks ago, uh, Eternals number one. I finally bit the bullet and bought it. Uh, I had some proceeds from some eBay sales and I, I saw this and it's a really nice copy. Uh, it's definitely a VF, um, VF copy. Um, and you know, it, 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 with a press and a clean, maybe even a little higher. Uh, but I thought, you know, why not pick up a decent copy of this just because what if it is um, a good spec to have? And uh, I've been resistant. I hadn't wanted to buy onto the bandwagon, uh, but I caved. I had a little bit of FOMO um, and I'm trying to get old. I'm trying to really focus on the older books uh, rather than newer comic books, uh, even though I still have my my weekly pickup from my LCS. Uh, but definitely want to focus on some really great key Silver Age and Bronze and Copper Age books. So, uh, Red Hood Comics, uh, reputable seller. Uh, he is in Vegas. Right before he left for a trip, he posted a couple of books. And um, there's one book that was not on my list. I'm going to talk and cut, so hopefully I don't stab my eye out. Uh, there's one book that's not been on my list, but it's been in my mind for a little bit. So you all know that I'm hunting Amazing Spider-Man. I have three Amazing Spider-Man books left. I have Amazing Fantasy 15, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one, which I'm really zeroing in right, on right now. So if anyone has any leads, let me know. Uh, and then Amazing Spider-Man number eight, which I can get anytime. Uh, so that this is not any of those, but... Uh, this is another key Spider-Man book that I just haven't bit the bullet on until now, uh, but I wanted to pick up. Uh, there's a little bit of a rumor with the new Spider-Man movie that uh, this issue with with uh, with its first appearances um, may uh, you know have a significance. So I I wanted this in my collection at some point, and I just said, why don't I just get it now? Um, uh, I'm going to talk about it, and you probably are guessing as I'm talking. Uh, it has a square bound, uh, it's square bound, so I, I wanted to get a, a decent copy with that, so I think this is decent. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the um, pictures look like, but um, he packaged it really nicely. I said I have some nice new cardboard to include with the sales uh, that I make. So let's cut this baby, and... Uh, a plus for anyone who guesses what it is. Just try not to cut through it. Okay. Let's see. It's still stuck together. Okay, let's just do this. So, sorry about that. The book is Amazing Spider-Man Annual number one. I think this is 1964. This is the first appearance of the Sinister Six. So there is some spec value around the Sinister Six. Regardless, it's a first first Spidey appearance. Um, well, team appearance. The villains have been established. But um, gosh, he really secured this to his credit. Um, and... Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a book that I've been wanting to have in the collection, and um, I finally do. He's got it in a nice, I don't know what you call it, but uh, I'll deal with the tape later. So, Sinister Six. We got Craven, Octopus, uh, Sandman, Electro, uh, Vulture, and Mysterio. So this is about a 4.0, he says. He has a nice grading thing on the back. Uh, the spine is pretty um, spiny <laughs> uh, together. It's a complete copy. 
Um, what I'm probably gonna do is just have this um, cleaned and, and ship it out to CGC to preserve it. Um, not for any resale thingamajig, but just to, to do that. Oh, okay, this comes up. So there you go, better picture of it. Really nice copy, uh, really excited about it. Um, and I'm really glad to have a chance to buy something from this guy. Um, for, I think his name's Rob. So the man in the red hood on Instagram. Uh, so definitely check him out. Super cool uh, Spider-Man annual. So number one, Sinister Six. And I think that's Ditko Art. So i uh, definitely excited about this unboxing. So cool book. Uh, so now on to CGC. So I opted to go try um, the labels that were Spidey labels. Uh, for CGC. So this book came separately from other things I had um, being graded that were not getting the label treatment. So it's a completely different department and they just send it and they charge you extra shipping. So I might not do this again, but I already know the grade uh, and I'm pleased with the grade. I'm specifically pleased with the grade because I, uh, I know what I paid for this book. I bought this over the Christmas holiday and uh, got a good deal down in Florida. And the, the grade, I paid significantly less for the book. I paid about $400 less for the book given the grade. And luckily it's a complete, it's a blue label. So I'm just gonna show it right out. Amazing Spider-Man number four. This one I was hunting for a while and I couldn't find the right copy. It's a 3.5. Um, and for the price I paid, uh, it's, it's actually a really great deal. I got the label, so why not? This is staying in my collection. Uh, I don't plan to sell this. It has no drawing on it. It has tape on the inside cover. It says it's off white to white pages. Um, it's better than no pages. Uh, and uh, it's got the cool grid uh, for, for this book. So excited to have this book in my collection again. Uh, I had it uh, pressed and cleaned. Uh, so uh, yeah, really excited that this came back at a, at a 3.5. Um, I was hoping for 3.5, three to four range. Uh, so uh, it did, that looks really nice. And the, the label looks good. I, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get labels, but uh, like the Taylor made, um, you know, Spidey label, but it's cool every once in a while. So this last box is part of my East Coast Comic Con haul. And uh, essentially what happened was um, I, I filled out several invoices for Desert Winds, which was a CGC facil facilitator to um, send my books out. And this book was the last book of, of my convention hall. It's a sketch cover uh, and it's the first one to come back. And it's the first one to come back because it's a single um, issue. It was uh, really easy for them, I assume, to grade it and to ship it off. Other things were happening with my other invoices in terms of George Perez signatures and Ron Lim and uh, all, Joe Sinat. So this one was a relatively easy invoice. Uh, I don't know the grade. So what happened here? This was a split second decision. Uh, so I decided to go get a sketch from Larry Stroman. So Larry Stroman was at the con. I was like, I saw someone else's sketch. He did a Havoc sketch from X Factor. And I was like, like that looks really cool. Uh, why don't I try to do that? I was gonna do Havoc. And at the last minute I changed it to Mr. Sinister. I'm a big fan of Mr. Sinister. Stroman did some Mr. Sinister around X Factor 74, 75. Uh, and I was like, let me just try to do that. So I got the sketch. Uh, I like it. Do I love it? No but I, I like it. It's cool to have in my collection. Uh, I've showed a picture of it before, so so here we go. Got Mr. Sinister, it's a 9.6, uh, which, whatever, these are all PC uh, and just cool books to have preserved. And I get these graded because I never wanna fight someone to verify this this artist or this signature. So 
yeah, I grade other books that aren't signed, but particularly for the signed books, I want to make sure that I know and can verify. So if somewhere down the road I want to sell it, or uh, let's say I, I will these to kids or whatever, um, I don't want to um, have to have, have that be dealt with. So it's verified. Um, so signed by him and sketched by him. I think the, the way he shades looks really cool with the purple around the X-Force. Uh, this is one of my favorite blank books to get sketched on. I just love Uncanny X-Force. Uh, and I love the logo and the placement of that. And there's lots of white space. I hate when Marvel did the red border on the bottom, but uh, a 9.6 on this. Um, and I also uh, picked up the sketch cover that morning because uh, I didn't bring any sketch covers because I didn't anticipate uh, getting any artists to do that. But he was really affordable. It was about 70 or $80 to get a sketch. Uh, he did it within a couple hours. So um, that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, not my favorite sketch. He's not my favorite artist, but I wanted to take advantage of him being there and to add to my sketch collection because I just think that's really uh, something I, I really love with my collection. So we got uh, this. I'm still waiting on all my Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity War books that I had signed. I'm waiting on my Fantastic Four first Cocoon of Warlock and I'm waiting on my Nova One to come back. I'm waiting on my first appearance in Nightwing. Those are all signed signature series CGCs. So um, hopefully those come back uh, shortly. I know they're at CGC. There's four books that have yet to be signed by George Perez. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they make that happen. Uh, if not, they're already signed by Ron Lim, uh, except for a couple of them when Ron Lim did work on Nightwing and things like that. But um, so yeah, so X Uncanny X-Force. We got Amazing Spider-Man number four. It's complete. It's not a restored. I love that. I really am excited about this book. The Amazing Spider-Man annual number four, or number one, sorry, 4.0. Cool labels he's got. And then the Eternals number one. So thanks everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you're new to my channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, hit that subscribe button. I'm getting up there. I'm almost to 1,800 subscribers, which is bananas. Um, so I'm going to put these away, get dinner in the oven, jump to the gym, and uh, have a night. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.